March 31st will be my last day as sheriff. And April 1st, um, I will step into my new position as the director of the Washington State Criminal Justice Training Center, which is basically the police academy. This is the academy where all the local police officers and corrections officers in the state are trained. It was a, an unexpected um, surprise, frankly, when the job opened up. The last couple of years I've gotten very involved with um, a couple of academic folks, some law enforcement leaders across the country, talking about a better way to train police officers, how to improve accountability, how to build public trust, and I've been working with a couple of these groups. Um, one of them meets at Harvard twice a year, and, and we're really trying to improve the skills that we impart to police officers so they can both be safe but also build that trust with the community. For 32 years, I've learned a lot about law enforcement. I've learned a lot about police culture. I feel now that that was my training. That was my preparation to now go forward and do something with what I've learned for this, th these, these three decades. I've learned a lot about cops. I've learned a lot about the community, particularly um, the last seven and a half years as sheriff. I've learned more about um, being accountable to the community, listening to the community. That's been a real important part of my education. And I think it, it's one of the most important parts because it gives me a perspective of how we need to prepare our police officers to be successful. Again, one of the, the biggest successes for any law enforcement agency is to have the support of the community. And we haven't emphasized that enough, I don't think, in our police training, and, and, and that's what I'm really looking forward to. It's a very difficult balance. In law enforcement, we want our officers to appropriately balance the, the conflicting role of enforcer and guardian, and we need to help them find the right balance. We also need to give them more skills than just physical tactics. Physical tactics are very, very important, but there's a whole other range of skills that we need to more effectively teach, and that is how to verbally and psychologically manage a person's behavior. Our goal, any police officer's goal, is to get somebody to comply with what you want them to do. And if you can get them to comply because of your verbal and psychological skills, that's much easier. People don't get hurt. Sometimes it's going to boil down to fisticuffs and tactics. But I want to make sure that every police officer that we train has every possible tool in their tool belt, and hopefully they can do it without physical force. As you look across law enforcement across the nation, over the last 30 years, we have dramatically improved our training. We're better at solving crimes. The crime rate has dropped, in part due, I think, to some of our law enforcement strategies. But what hasn't improved in 30 years is the level of public trust. To me, that's the next big challenge. We focus so much on, on the, um, the tangible crime-fighting skills, which is appropriate, um, that we haven't focused as much as we could have on the relationship and trust with the community. To me, that's the great challenge, is I think we can improve public safety by building that trust. Because when you have the community as a complete partner, that makes the community safer. I think the thing that sticks with me the most is, is the, the, the resiliency and the um, unflappable dedication of the cops I work with. We've been through a lot in this office in the last four years. We've had massive cuts. We've had to restructure how we deliver service. And, and the people on the line, whether they're in uniform or behind the scenes, despite all the changes we've had to make, they still come to work every day and they're still trying to do their very best. I had a great conversation day before yesterday with one of my very seasoned veteran vice cops and they're working on a new program to deal with teen prostitutes and he said, Sheriff, I, come, I look forward to coming to work every day because I know I'm going to do something good. And, and for me, that, that said it all. That's what makes me so proud to be part of this profession is here's a guy who's worked a terrible assignment for years and years and years and people in that assignment usually get pretty discouraged. And when he said that to me, I just thought this is what this is all about. I still look forward to coming to work every day because I know I'm going to do something good. Um, to be part of that, 
I, nothing, nothing beats that. 